damage yesterday morning on the city's north side. Police were called to the trails at Arbor Court apartment complex on Belcher Drive. That suspect, Jevin Campbell, was in court this morning. And tonight, 10 TV's Lacey Crisp explains what witnesses believe happened leading up to the shooting. Neighbors tell us for months they've been dealing with cars being stolen from the apartment complex. Columbus police say yesterday an attempted theft led to a fatal shooting. So our cars have been being broken into like 24 seven. It's so bad that the complex owner um, management has sent the letter out. I'm um, offering $200 for whoever finds the people who's breaking into the car and everything. Shayla Thomas has lived in the complex for a year and says it was her car that was broken into Thursday morning. My son tells me at like five in the morning, he hears my alarm. So I run out here and everything and I don't have nothing or anything. So I just had like a pan. Thomas says another neighbor. That was dumb as shit. That was dumb as shit. And I get what she's saying. She That's her shit. That's her car. She need her car for her kids to go to work. If she lose her car, it can fucking, you know, it could lead to a snowball effect that lead to her being homeless. This woman lose her car. And now she got a fucking... She may use that car to get her kids to school, practice everything. And now she got to fucking do all that shit on the bus or maybe rent a car. You know black people don't have full coverage. Very few black people have full coverage if they have insurance. Very few black people have car insurance and very few and even fewer have full coverage. So the Sun Team steal her car and wrap it around a fucking lamppost or wrap it around a tree. And she may not be able to get another fucking car. The insurance company may give her fucking 400 bucks on her new car. But never come out to your house and approaching no fucking car thieves, man. Or anybody breaking into your car, call the police. I was broken into Thursday morning. My son tells me at like five in the morning, he hears my alarm. So I run out here and everything and I don't have nothing or anything. So I just had like a pan. Thomas says another neighbor helped her chase down the man she says was trying to steal her car. He ran through this building. There was another guy out here with me. He was like, I seen him run through the building. He ran around this side, and I tried to run around the other side. When I ran around the other side, I heard five shots. Well, Columbus police say they received a 911 call about the gunfire. Officers did not find anything. About three hours later, they received another call. There's a man probably possibly shot. Um, he's down. Columbus police found the victim, whose name has not been released, deceased at the complex. Thursday night, Columbus police arrested 19-year-old Jevin Campbell. He made his first court appearance Friday morning. When he witnessed a female neighbor in an altercation with a John Doe over attempted theft of a motor vehicle, Mr. Campbell, the defendant, intervened. And when the John Doe fled, the defendant gave chase. During the chase, he produced a pistol and fired multiple shots at John Doe. Oh, whoa! Wait a second. Curveball. So this is the guy who was helping her. Wow. So we had it all wrong. I had it all wrong. This is the guy who was out there with her. So this is the guy. He shot the car thief. And now he's being charged with murder. And his bond is set at a million dollars. Funny how he'll get a million dollars. <laughs> This guy was helping this woman chase down a car thief and ended up having to shoot the car thief. And now he has a million dollar bond. This is even worse, man. This is even worse than what I thought. <laughs> they gave this cat a million dollar bond. Possibly shot. Um, he's Columbus police found the victim, whose name has not been released, deceased at the complex. Thursday night, Columbus police arrested 19-year-old Jevin Campbell. 
He made his first court appearance Friday morning. When he witnessed a female neighbor in an altercation with a John Doe over attempted theft of a motor vehicle, Mr. Campbell, the defendant, intervened. And when the John Doe fled, the defendant gave chase. During the chase, he produced a pistol and fired multiple shots at John Doe, striking him, causing his death. Thomas says she didn't know the suspect or Campbell and adds, it's a tough situation. It's always sad for somebody to pass away if he's passed away, but at the same time, though, like he, he's he did he was doing a crime. And Campbell is being held. Any thoughts on the guy who just fucking threw his life away to help you? Any because apparently they were in an altercation. Okay, so she went out there with the pot. And she got an altercation with the fucking guy. She went out there with a pot. And her and the guy got in some kind of altercation. The guy who's breaking into her car. This guy sees it. He gives chase. And at some point shoots the man. And this is and this is what this sister got to say. Him causing his death. Thomas says she didn't know the suspect or Campbell, and adds, "It's a tough situation." It's always sad for somebody to pass away if he's passed away, but at the same time, though, like he, he's he did he was doing a crime, and Campbell is being held. Any any thoughts on the guy who? This guy's gonna go. This guy's got a million dollar bond. They're gonna the, the prosecutors find their balls when it's when 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 in cases like this. When it's a fucking citizen fucking taking out the trash and shit. Oh, the prosecutor gonna find her his or her balls. They're already asking for a million dollar bond. If he would have just shot that nigga at a dice game or some shit, he would have got like a hundred thousand dollar bomb. If he would have just shot that nigga over some beef, he'd have got like a fifty thousand dollar bond or a hundred thousand dollar bond. They're giving this fucking guy a million dollar bond for this shit. This shit is terrible, man. And this woman, she just goes about her life. How long before this woman forgets about that guy? How long before this woman forgets about that guy, man? How long do you guys think before that woman forgets about this guy completely? <laughs> Damn, bro shots at John Doe, striking him, causing his death. Thomas says she didn't know the suspect or Campbell and adds, it's a tough situation. It's always sad for somebody to pass away if he's passed away, but at the same time, though, like, he, he's, he, did, he was doing a crime. And Campbell is being held on a $1 million bond. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.